pilots were trained in this single engine tandem seater than any other World War II trainer. The SNJ was designed in the late 1930s and flew with the armed forces well into the Korean War in the 1950s. Coming overhead, ladies and gentlemen, the Geico Skytypers in the Delta Pass. As the pilots perform today, I want to introduce you to the Skytypers team members. Many of the Geico pilots come from military backgrounds, the Air Force, the Navy, and Marine Corps, and most are now airline pilots or retired pilots with major U.S. airlines. Leading the flight is the boss and Captain Larry Arkin with Steve Kapoor. Right wing is Ken Johansson. Left wing is Rob Steo. Slot position, Bob Johansson. The lead solo is Steve Salmers, and the opposing solo is Dino Peros. We also want to recognize other key pilots on our team, Jim Record and Tom Daly. Watch as the Skytypers perform turning maneuvers in their Delta formation. These aircraft weigh about 5,500 pounds and use the 600 horsepower supercharged nine-cylinder Pratt & Whitney, the R1340. The flight lead will now release the outboard pilots in a further demonstration of the aircraft's maneuverability. Watch as the solos will cross, pulling into each other's flight paths with only a few feet between them, leaving little margin for error. There's the cross. After the aircraft complete their cross, the solo pilots will return to demonstrate their next maneuver. The opposing solo two-circle pass. This maneuver displays the aircraft's ability to perform an energy-sustaining tight radius turn. This maneuver also serves to illustrate what can happen if two enemy aircraft should become engaged in a no-advantage air-to-air encounter. For the moment, neither pilot is able to take a shot and score a victory with his guns on his opponent. At times, it's best to get away from the flight and return to fly another day. Diving for energy. With a smoke on, the solos approach one another in a descending head-to-head -head engagement at a closure rate of over 320 miles per hour. Close a beam, the solos will pitch up and roll into each other, passing canopy to canopy, just 50 feet apart. The solo is clear. Watch for the rest of the formation at show center. The Geico Sky Typers will demonstrate one of their signature formations, the line abreast. This formation is the same one they use when typing messages across the sky. At the command from the leader, the flight will execute a 90 degree right maneuver to change formation into trail. Once in trail, however, they must regroup into a more effective formation to continue with the mission. One method to rejoin is for the lead aircraft to start a turn and have the other aircraft add power and put their nose in front of lead to fly a shorter distance. The pilots must know where everyone is and how to get their aircraft on board as quickly and safely as possible. Let's watch the team as they show you how all the formation flights accomplish a rejoin. Together again, let's watch as they show off their precision diamond formation. of attacking enemy targets on the ground uses spotter planes in the air. These aircraft are called forward air controllers, or FACs. If you'll turn and look over your shoulder, let's watch as two FACs arrive over a target area.
study the target area and determine the level of threat. They're calling out for any available aircraft. Skytype, flight of four has reported in. They've got enough ammunition and fuel for one pass. Once the flight has received their instructions, the facts can turn towards each other to smoke or mark the target. This helps get a quicker tally-ho on the enemy. just to the right and high from show center for the sky type of four sky type flight of four to arrive they will come in in an echelon formation this formation is well known anybody who stays up late to watch world war ii movies will see aircraft rolling in on a target or an enemy aircraft from the echelon formation once the facts have cleared the target with smoke, the order for release is given cleared in hot. The Sky Type Flight of Four will roll in for a very high angle strafe. This spiral attack is used to confuse the enemy on the ground. ship flight departs and rejoins into a defensive formation. Watch high above the target area again as two aircraft are dispatched to assess the damage. They forward information to order another attack. speed up, but change their heading and altitude to stay unpredictable. Folks, please allow the Geico Skytypers to show you another one of their capabilities. Using just one or two aircraft, the Geico co company would like to show you how it feels about its customers. As they prepare, prepare for their message, I'd like to invite you to visit Geico.com. Solos are drawing a heart. Keep your eyes forward as the diamond formation transformed into a challenging vertical diamond attempts to fly right through the center. How do you like the Geico Sky Typers, everyone? In this formation, the references the wing must, wingman use change completely as they had to look almost straight up referencing the lead aircraft. straight ahead again you'll see the solos demonstrating a low altitude pop-up bombing attack they fly in low in an attempt to stay under enemy radar coverage but today there is a lone enemy aircraft attacking one of the solos he's got to fly an unpredictable flight path to complete his mission watch as the solo pops up to deliver his ordinance while the enemy aircraft maneuvers to shoot him down from behind
progressing from the target. Follow the Solos as they exit to rejoin with the squadron overhead, forming a six-plane formation. Keep your eyes on the formation as it simulates a return to base, an RTB. By the Royal Air Force and Royal Canadian Air Force. They were known by those Air Forces as the Harvard. As they work into their line abreast formation, ladies and gentlemen, here comes the salute to all of you. This is the Geico Sky Typers Fan Pass. the aircraft overhead as they rejoin and then reverse to give you another exciting photo opportunity across show center these aircraft are operated most of the year in the new york metro area and are based out of farmingdale new york and republic join them on facebook at facebook.com forward slash geico sky typers If you look over your shoulder to the left, the smoke is on. They will bank to the right. Get your cameras ready for the Geico Sky Typers Delta Photo Pass. They'll come in low and fast and pitch up in sequence for landing. Flying these World War II aircraft requires an unusual set of skills. Sky type or pilots have to be able to fly large tailwheel aircraft as well as being accomplished formation pilots. As they approach, please give another round of applause in aircraft number one. Larry Arkin and Steve Kapoor. In number two, Ken Johansson. Number three, Rob Steo. Number four, Bob Johansson. Number five, Steve Salver Salvers. And number six, Dino Peros. By the way, the smoke that's used here today is environmentally friendly, light paraffin-based oil that has been approved by the EPA and used in air shows worldwide. 